Hi everyone, June 12, 2019. I have some Oroville Dam information that I want to pass along and I hope that you pass it along as best you can. The snow melt is a concern and I have three videos, short videos, that I want to play for you. The first one is Susan Walding's Orville Dam update. Is this serious enough for you? Oh my god. I'm not a damn expert and I can't speak uh, to that crack, but uh, I'm cracking a dam. It doesn't make me feel uh, real confident considering all the other problems with that dam. Now, um, this woman has also been posting on the dam, Red Dawn, non NPC, and she posted this yesterday. I just got a notice on my phone about hydrolation, I guess it's called, and they said that the um, heat right now is melting all of the snow, and it's a warning all the way to Bakersfield, and they're telling people to stay out of the rivers because they're swelled up, and they said that um, more people are going to drown this year, this summer, and I'm just thinking about that dam, and people saying at the DWR everything's fine but yet they say in my county where we had excessive rain and snow just like over there that um, everything's fine and that the water levels are dropping but yet they're telling me where I live which is three hours from Oroville that um, all the way down to Bakersfield that the rivers and the lakes and everything are going to be swelled up and that people should be careful careful because of drowning hazard so um, people should really consider that um, and not exactly take DWR's word for it when the people that are authorities of where I live are saying, Department of uh, not Water Resources, but some other uh, forum is saying, the sheriff and all that, all the sheriffs and all the uh, authorities in my area, which is, my area is Tuolumne County, and then uh, all the way down to Bakersfield is saying that people are going to drown in these rivers if they go in the water because they're swelling because the snow is melting right now and the water is moving faster. So um, I think that people in Oroville should really pay attention to what's going on in my county and Tuolumne County down all the way past Stanislaus County, which is the valley down where I, f further down where I live. People should pay attention because if they're saying in my county and they care enough about the people in my county down to Bakersfield to warn them, and the people in um, Oroville, which is Butte County and all the other counties below it, all the way to Sacramento should pay attention because that dam with the snow melt and the water that's coming down and that Lake Alamore. So, I mean, I just got that, so it's crazy town.
<laughs> and that's right. It is crazy town. All right. Um, well, she's right. It does seem a little odd that these alerts are going out on people's phones below, below Sacramento. If you guys who are north of this woman's area, if you got alerts, let us know in the comments section. But here, rising water levels expected on rivers and streams this week. Um, persons living near rivers and streams, as well as hikers and campers in the southern Sierra, Nevada, should closely monitor water levels during the next few days and be ready to move to a place of safety if the threat of flooding becomes imminent. Um, well, target area, North Kings River, um, all of these areas here. I, I would like to know if you guys um, in uh, Butte County got alerts. I tried to find some information. I posted a video on the Oroville Dam just a couple of days ago. Mainstream media. Ah, the snow melt, the heat, the heat wave, um, rising rivers. And I, I couldn't come up with any information on the Russian River, the Feather River, what I did come up with was um, California heat wave to slowly ease. Rivers and streams continued to fill from the Sierra snow melt. Well, how much is it breaking? Um, the, the, I, I was really surprised. Uh, southern Wyoming rivers rising from snow melt, Colorado uh, advisories on flooding from the rivers swelling from the snow melt, um, and Nevada, certainly, areas of Nevada. Um, let's see, rapid snow melt triggers flood warnings across North Nevada. And here, no structures currently are threatened, but preventative uh, sandbagging is recommended. And I will link below to everything, so if you are in uh, northern Nevada, you might want to click on the link and find out. Uh, they expect to be closing state routes uh, 795 near the interstate. 80. All right. Um, didn't it was the Russian River that flooded homes last year, wasn't it? Uh, I believe so. I vaguely remember posting on the Russian River flooding and there were a lot of concerns about the Feather River flooding but I can't find anything. That is rather surprising to me. Okay, this is the next video. Channel, it is June 12, 2019. It's a Wednesday, and I was looking at the water level yesterday whenever it was 893.31 feet. But lately it's been declining as water has been coming in not as quickly as they anticipated. So I was a little confused when I went over to the live feed and seen that they put the stairwell back in. So can anybody explain to me why in the world does DWR find it necessary to be on that dam? Think about this, folks. Last week, they took it all out. I thought they were done with their inspections. Apparently not. How many times do they need to be down there? For one, it's a safety hazard. They don't have no fall protection. These folks could tumble to their death at any given time. Look at that water just going down there. It, it's slick. It's getting slicker. There's mud. There's, there's moss. There's everything else in there. That can't be safe for these workers to be 
going up and down on this dam with the water running. And second off, I thought the inspection was over. Correct me if I'm wrong. They said they were just going to go check out the dam. I mean, how long does it take to check out that dam? And third, why are there lights still at night? You go over there to the night feed and you can still see lights up there. They're still down on the dam. And why? What's the purpose? There's got to be a reason. And why is DWR not being straight with us? They continue not to be straight with us. The lake starts to uh, drop and they say they're preparing to use the dam maybe next week. So they take the stairwell out. Today they put the stairwell back in, as I looked yesterday on the live feed. Here's yesterday's live feed. And guess what? There's no stairwell in there. So today the lake starts to rise. Well, let's go ahead and put that stairwell back in. We got a long way to go. And then it's like, well, we got a 50 foot buffer zone. And then what do they do? Well, we're gonna take it to 894. And then what are we gonna do? Well, we're going to take it to 900, one feet away, and then we'll start opening it. One of my viewers today said, oh, well, it's supposed to be a slow release. Once this lake gets to 900, wind can blow that water over the top of the weir or the spillway. It would take much of a wind because Lake Orville's a big lake. And then what happens? The water will start going over the emergency spillway. You got to be real careful. And there, last I checked, the snow melts over 200% in the Sierras. So there's still a lot of water that could potentially come. And the hotter it gets, I heard it was over 100 degrees there today. So the hotter it gets, faster this water is going to melt. And the quicker this thing will rise up. Has it not rose as quick as I thought it would? Absolutely. And I've been wrong about that. But it will start to rise and then what's going to happen is they're going to have to use this thing one way or another and at some point come november they're going to have to start letting water out to be prepared for the next year so we are definitely going to find out one way or another if this thing will work or not if they don't use it people are going to be really eerie and really worried that there is something major wrong with this spillway we will find out. Stay tuned. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Dubrinic Channel. Peace. And <clears throat> I do think that you guys out in uh, California, those of you who will be affected if this dam uh, does, well, fail, um, that you subscribe to these channels that I am showing you. And, okay, I will link below to all of these videos. All you have to do is click on the link and go to their channels. Um, I also want to uh, suggest that you bookmark Flying Cuttlefish because he is posting a lot of information on that dam, bringing to you videos that other people are posting on the dam. Uh, a lot of information, so, um, yeah, and you might want to, you know, give a, give a thanks to all of the people who are uh, keeping you updated. You know, there's a lot of people who are not living in that area, but they are very concerned for all of you, and I like it when people care, you know, about other people. I do. So, um, you know, uh, and listening uh, to this video when he was saying, you know, I was wrong about the water levels. Unfortunately, we're all getting our information from Department of Water Resources on this, you know, government site regarding the water levels. So, how do we know? if those water levels are accurate, you know, the levels that they are posting. We don't know. Uh, we sh sure do know the government officials lie. And that is the main problem, the lying.
Because lying, well, what does it do? It creates crazy town. All links are below.